Hi everyone. I know, finally, a new video again. It took way too long. I was very busy with a lot of stuff, interviewing people and stuff like that. Yeah, just a lot of work to do. No time for metal detecting, but now, finally all that stuff is done. And last weekend, I had a reenactment again. So I decided to take the camera with me again this time and um, film some stuff. You can see a bunch of stuff laying on the ground right there. Yeah, I still have to clean that up, but not right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it right now. I actually wanted to go there as a US soldier, 2nd Army Division, but the German reenactment group cancelled at the last moment. So there were no Germans. They really needed Germans, so I volunteered as a German soldier with a couple other guys. A lot of stuff went wrong this reenactment. It was really hard, but I'm really glad I had this experience. So I'm just gonna stop talking right now. Let's get into the video. I hope you like it. The first thing we did was drive to the places where things were going to happen a pretty long ride to different spots and of course at the moment enjoying the wind We stopped at important locations were given an explanation about the scenario and moved on to the next spot a beautiful original Sherman tank from World War II also joined the reenactment. Look at this beauty. Oh yeah. The real Sherman tank. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is gonna be a problem for us <laughs> during the battle. Definitely gonna be a problem. We got one Panzerfaust. But uh, I think that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, we also have a Panzerschreck. All we had to do now was wait for the battle to begin. Hi Mark. Hey, how are you doing? You enjoying yourself again? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh yeah, and it's hot today. Yeah. And you're dressed up like a uh, Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty strange. I'm... You hear that? Yeah. That's a Sherman tank. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, like uh, I need some cover. I think I have to do something right now. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite tank. Woo! Oh wow, look at that. Your history! And this right here is the moment it went wrong. Suddenly, a guy in German uniform, someone we've never seen before, asked us to go stand in line. So that's what we did, we just followed orders. Some yelling in German language, and there we went, on an insane march with 106 degrees Fahrenheit in the burning sun. Most of the guys were carrying replica weapons. Me and my friend Brian, we had full gear. I was carrying my MG42 machine gun and I had way too much stuff in my bread bag. I always take too much stuff with me because I want to display things. My friend Brian was carrying two MG boxes full of ammo. There's not a lot of footage of us marching because we were just simply going too fast. So after a couple kilometers marching, the guy who was leading the group asked us which way do we have to go and then we knew that this wasn't right all right guys after an insane march in the burning sun wow that was insane especially with a machine gun on your back you look wet yeah it was hard oh yeah it was hard by the way guys, this is my mother. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea what's gonna happen right now. It's uh, very hot and um, all my equipment is on the ground right now at this moment. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's extremely hot today, so uh, <laughs> horrible. All right, so um, it was pretty unclear what we had to do because at, right at this moment we had to be somewhere 
over there. So um, the battle starts somewhere far away and um, we're supposed to be there but we just started marching for some reason and we ended up here right next to a church and um, we just now now we're just gonna wait until um, the front line comes our way so um, but it's gonna take a while it's extremely hot uh, we got all our stuff here but uh, yeah, there's a church over there. Yeah, all we can do is wait right now. Because of this stupid marching mistake, we missed the beginning and other important parts of the battle. We had no choice but to wait one and a half hour right next to the church. I was preparing some stuff and suddenly a car stopped right next to us. Undercover police. He was waving his badge. He asked what we were doing. We explained everything and we were pretty surprised that they didn't know anything about it. I mean, a couple blocks from where we were, there was a tank driving through the streets and people shooting at each other and they didn't know anything about it. Very badly organized. Then suddenly another car pulled up with someone from the organization, started yelling at us, you need to be there, blah, blah, blah. But of course we had no car and we couldn't just march somewhere with all these machine guns and stuff. So we just ignored it and we stayed there. The front line was getting close and we started to search for a good spot. Then we went to the top of the church and we had a perfect view over the battlefield. But to get to the top of the church, you had to go through the church. So when we entered the church in German uniforms with machine guns and everything, there was a wedding and they were making wedding pictures. So there is probably a picture with a lovely couple and German soldiers in the background. We hear the gunshots in the distance and now we were waiting. The allies were coming. closing in so we had to retreat really quick but we were too late our truck was already gone so we had to run there were a lot of casualties and here you can see my friend Mark doing his work as a US medic we were in panic the Americans were close we took two hostages. Someone came towards us. Oh. 
He wanted to negotiate. They promised us five minutes lead. We came to an agreement and started running. On the end of the street was a captured American truck with two German soldiers inside. We jumped in and took off. We stopped on the edge of the forest and prepared ourselves for one last battle. We didn't know where to go. There was no way out. it was pointless. We had no choice but to surrender. After a long time fighting, it was finally over. We were exhausted. We were glad we were captured. We had to get in a vehicle, and they took us away. We did not know where they were going to take us, but we didn't really care. For us, the war was finally over. Wow, after a hard battle, we had to surrender. Now I'm making some uh, bouillon, nice and salty. Look at that. That's so nice. Salt is very important. Uh, MG42, I'm gonna clean it. Oh, that's so good stuff. Oh, that's really nice. Yo, Mark, how was your day? It's pretty, it was pretty hot again. It was pretty hot again. <laughs> Indeed. Every time we do reenact the events, it's, it's like melting hot. Yeah, it was insane. I got a, a headache at the moment. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> again? Yeah, yeah okay. again. Yeah. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, well, I didn't really see you so at all. Not. No, that was a good thing. I, no, well, I'm not sure about that because he's a medic, of course, so yeah. I don't know. But I'm still alive, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, but it was a uh, was pretty cool with the tank and stuff. I just got this small flower from a little girl. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, she just came to me. She gave it. So here it is. That's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> and. Um, yeah, it was an awesome day. Yeah. A lot of stuff went wrong. We were on the wrong spot. People just started marching and we they, they said, um, come with us. So we just followed them and we've been marching for a long time. It was way too hot with a machine gun on the back. It was insane. And um, we were at the wrong spot. Um, people were going the other. Uh, just too much to explain right now. I can't even think anymore at this moment. But, um, a lot of stuff went wrong, but it was still an awesome day. 
Um, just had some bouillon, so you're too late. I'm sorry about that, but uh, <laughs> yes, guys, I have to be honest, it was very, very hard 106 degrees Fahrenheit in the sun, walking with an original MG42, very heavy on your back, a bread bag full of stuff. My friend Brian with um, MG boxes. The other guys were carrying airsoft weapons, but really, guys, if I see the videos now, the soldiers walking with machine guns and still laughing. I really have respect for them. Walking day and night, exhausted. It's just so extremely hard. That's why I like reenactment. Just pure for the experience and keeping history alive. I was pretty tired at the end of the day. Wasn't really feeling well because uh, again, <laughs> not enough food. But luckily we had Mary Klein. That's her reenactment name. We're just gonna say Sarah. You probably recognize her from the trends video. She's a young girl with a lot of talent. Uh, she gave us sugar, she gave us uh, water, everything we needed, so thank you for that. Um, she's a great nurse. The young generation is so important. She, her father and her brother, all busy with reenactment and history. But she has a lot of talent and she even has her own book right now. She loves writing, she's always busy. Uh, look at this, When Heaven Touches Hell. Poems about the Second World War, uh, made by Sarah Curves. And so this is her book. A lot of cool pictures in here from reenactments. That's her brother right there. You probably recognize this here. That's uh, the garden trench. <laughs> there you can see my good friend Mark. Hey, that's a familiar face. Yeah, a lot of nice poems, all made by herself. She's very young. This is her first book. And look at that. That's impressive. Very nicely done. So if you want to buy this book, the link is in the description. I really want to go metal detecting again soon, so um, yeah, we're definitely going to do that again. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.